All right, so here we're going to start on to chapter three, and this chapter is on trigonometry. And in this section, we are going to be labeling the sides of a triangle. But first, what is trigonometry? Well, trigonometry is looking at triangles and angles. So you may be recognizing this picture here, and that's called a protractor. So in your previous math grades, you may have used one of these to find out the angle, or how many degrees an angle is. Now trigonometry is also talking about a triangle. So a triangle has three sides, and it also has three angles. So the angles are inside the triangle. So there's an angle, there's an angle, and here is an angle. Now you'll notice that this angle is square, and that's because it's a right angle, which means that it is 90 degrees. So you will have to remember that. All right, so the very first step in trigonometry is labeling the sides of a triangle. So there's going to be three terms that we are going to be looking at. The first one is called the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the longest side in a triangle. Now, how we know which one is the longest side is we draw an arrow through the right angle, and that will point to the hypotenuse. Now, I'm just going to shorten it and just write HYP for hypotenuse. The next step is that the other side that the angle touches is the adjacent. Now, when I'm talking about this, I'm referring to the angle that's given right here. So even though there are three other angles, or sorry, three angles altogether in this triangle, we will always be given a little angle right there. And that's to label the adjacent. So just to clarify, the other side that the angle touches is the adjacent. And finally, the leftover side is the opposite. So you'll notice that I've labeled each of the three sides. The very first one is I drew a line through the square and it pointed at the hypotenuse. The angle that I've been given touches the hypotenuse, and it also touches the adjacent. And the leftover side is the opposite. So let's try another one. So here, you'll notice that right here is my angle. But of course, I'm going to start off with my hypotenuse. So I'll draw an angle or an arrow through the right angle, and that will be my hypotenuse. The other side that my angle touches is the adjacent, and the leftover side is the opposite.
All right, so this one is your turn. So the very first thing that I want you to do is draw an arrow through the right angle and pointing to the hypotenuse. So go ahead and pause your video and draw an arrow through the right angle to the hypotenuse. All right. So this is the side of the triangle that you should be labeling the hypotenuse. The next one that I want you to do is I want you to take a look at this angle. And the side that the angle is touching is the adjacent. So I'd like you to pause the video and label the adjacent side. All right, so that is the last one, or that is the adjacent, and the last one is the opposite. All right, so we're going to do another triangle, and this time I would like you to label the entire triangle. So of course you're going to start off with making an arrow through the right angle to the hypotenuse. Then you are going to label the other side that the angle touches the adjacent. And finally the leftover side is the opposite. So go ahead and pause the video and complete that. All right. So I'm going to draw an arrow through the right angle. And that is my hypotenuse. The other side that the angle touches is the adjacent. And my leftover side is the opposite. All right, so you're ready to complete your chapter 3.1 homework. And a little piece of special information that two questions on the chapter quiz will be similar to the homework questions.